I bought a bucket for socks that don't have a match. Like that is something I did before minimalism. <laughs> I love coffee. You know what I don't love? Laundry. Mm -mm. I do not love laundry. <laughs> but I'm a mom in a family of five and we have laundry. So I have to deal with that. These are the 11 things that I have done as a result of minimalism and made changes in my laundry process to make it so that I like, I don't like laundry a little bit less. I can't say that I like it just yet. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This video is part of a Simplify Your Life playlist series. I've accepted that I live with an invisible sock monster and he likes to eat, I'm assuming it's a he, he likes to eat a sock a week. That's about his diet. And I have a bucket, a pretty galvanized metal bucket with an L for Lucas on it. So pretty. I actually bought a bucket for socks that don't have a match. I still have the bucket. It still has mismatched socks, but it only has a couple because it's the ones that have disappeared recently and maybe in a car, under a bed, in a shoe, somewhere still in the house. These socks are in short-term rental in this bucket and they will not stay in here. Tip number two, also about socks. <laughs> Second thing that I've started to do is, is have socks that are the same socks for each kid so that if one or two get lost, then the remaining two can be paired up. So my daughter is working towards having all the same socks my, and each of my sons have their own brand of socks that they have. So that over the next couple of months, I'm gonna have three types of socks for the kids that they can just match together and do it themselves, which is number three, child labor. I do less work. Now, I was the person, well, my husband would sub in, okay? But I was mainly the person who did all the laundry from start to finish, including putting it away in drawers. My children are old enough to manage that chore, even my three-year-old. He's not great at it and I needs help and that's fine. But my other two now put away their own clothes. I actually repurposed pretty green bins that I had from before and each kid has their own bin. So when I'm folding and sorting the laundry, when it's clean, I put it in their baskets, I put their baskets on their bed and I tell them that they have a laundry basket that they need to go put away. Number four, I have to do at least one load of laundry a day or it gets behind or someone doesn't have clothes. So, cause we're, we have less clothes that we're, we're dealing. So I have to do at least a load a day. Sheets, towels, clothes, blankets, whatever it is, at least one load. Some days I have multiple loads cause I have sheets and clothes that I just need to keep up with. Um, but one load a day keeps me on track and doesn't, I don't fall behind now because we have less things we're dealing with, less blankets, we have less clothes, I have less to wash, but I have to wash it on a regular basis. I've done laundry so many ways. I used to do each person's items. So I would do my husband's one day, mine one day, and then each of my kids, that's five days, right? And then every fifth day, somebody would have a new load of clothes. That worked well, but now that we have less clothes, I have to do everybody's together. So I have a sensitive soap that I use for all five of us. I actually use it for all of our laundry and I do everybody's clothes together. And then I just fold and sort and give to the person to put away. So as a result of moving towards minimalism, another laundry change that I had to make was sheets day. I had backup sheets, I guess you could say. So if someone's sheets got dirty, I had another set that I could just put on and then I would just let the dirty sheets pile up and just do a big sheets day every couple of weeks. Now we do sheets day every week. I have to um, because we've run out of backup sheets. Uh, we had a couple illnesses, <laughs> that's a $7 set of sheets and I'm not trying to spread germs and get my dish and get my washing machine all gross with vomit. We do sheets every week. We strip the sheets and I have the kids, child labor, I have the kids strip their sheets and bring them down to me and I do the wash. I don't know what number I'm on. I, I had to make a couple of changes on the dirty part of the laundry process. I have I have a section, <laughs> I'm 
not your room. I have a little cart that's for dirty microfiber towels because you have to wash, wash the microfiber towels by themselves and a very special process. Then I have our bath towels, our dry, dirty bath towels in a pile. Eat some blankets in a pile. And then a basket for dirty clothes. Another thing we had to adjust for in the last <laughs> three months, and by we, I mean my daughter, that girl likes to change her clothes more than Lady Gaga. She throws perfectly good clean clothes into the dirty laundry pile. So we had to have a chat about that because she kept running out of clothes more often than I could keep up with. And so we had to have a chat about clean versus dirty. She can change her clothes, but if she's worn it and it's not dirty, just put it in a little area where she can rewear it. And then when it's actually dirty, throw it in the laundry. For towels, I let them air dry first. I, I used to just throw them downstairs, pretending that I was gonna go right downstairs and wash them and I never did. And a day or two later, they would be funky and mildewy. And I try the vinegar baking soda thing, but they never, they never got the same. They always had that funk smell to them when they would come out of the washing machine and I threw them out. So now what we have to do is hang dry them before because I don't do the laundry. I'm, I'm real about it. I don't do towels right when they're used. I just don't. So I hang dry them, we reuse them, and then I wash them, but I make sure they're dry before I throw them in the dirty pile. Dryer sheets. My husband complained <laughs> once, well, not complained, complaint's a strong word for this. My husband once asked me if I was using two dryer sheets when I was drying clothes. The dryer sheets effect was strong enough that he thought I had used two dryer sheets. So now I've been doing this for months. I ripped this dryer sheet in half and I just use half a dryer sheet for every load. It has doubled what I can get out of one box of dryer sheets. You could also use those uh, dryer balls or little laundry balls with the, with the spikes. You could use those. I've used those historically. They're great. We just have boxes of dryer sheets that I'm using up. And then maybe I'll switch to that. Another one, I don't know if I have the right number. I've lost count. But another one <laughs> is to have a designated time in your day for laundry. Mine is in the morning and my mom block from 5 to 8 a.m. Sometimes it, it, you know, ebbs into the second block. But I... I try to get the laundry done at the beginning of the day and then be done with it for the rest of the day. Being done with it, then it's just the box is checked and I don't have to think about it again the rest of the day. Before I used to, just, oh, what laundry is, needs to be done? Who needs clothes? Who needs towels? Now it's just, I do it each morning. I do at least one load and it's done for the day. And I don't have to think it about, I don't have to think about it again until the next day. So getting it done early in the morning, if you can, or in a time block that works for you is another tip. Click here to see a video about time blocking and click here to see the whole playlist on simplifying your life and click here to subscribe to my face. Thanks for watching.